Coming to you from the Dean E. Smith Center, the home of the 2017 National Champions, I am Greg Barnes, this is Rob Harrington. We're gonna break down the 2017-18 North Carolina Tar Heels. Seventh Woods came in as a freshman last year and had the unenviable task of, of learning the point guard role, which is the toughest spot to learn in Roy Williams' system. Some struggles early, which most freshman point guards tend to have, uh, but really seemed to kind of find his, uh, his, his groove there late in the year, really cut down on turnovers, uh, was, was smarter getting into the paint, wasn't forcing things quite as much. Um, did you like his development, and kind of where do you see him making a step forward this year? I, I had hoped that over the course of the year he might find more of an offensive game, but I think he did. the game did slow down for him some, and that was the most important thing because early in the year, of course, he was a whirling dervish and a lot of turnovers. Uh, he made some plays late in the season, and especially he made one pass in the Kentucky game that I think foreshadows the point guard or combo guard that he can be. Now the task this year will be with more of an opportunity to lead can he provide some scoring punch as well? He doesn't have to become a jump shooter. I don't necessarily expect him ever to become a great shooter, but he uses quickness to get to the rim and draw some fouls. And then as he gets into the paint, he's a pretty good passer. You know, I mentioned that, that one play against Kentucky, like, okay, this is who he can be. To do more of those types of things, he still will not, because Joel Berry came back, he won't face too much pressure. You know, he won't be in the situation that Larry Drew found himself in as a sophomore following that 2009 title team. Uh, Woods can still kind of develop at his own pace. He won't have that kind of pressure, and I, I think that will help him. I still think that his best basketball probably is another year away. Rob, Nate Britt, for the last couple of years, has really kind of filled that role as, as the backup uh, point guard. Uh, really played well at the end of last year. You think that's a pretty seamless transition for seventh to kind of move into that role as kind of the, the, the key backup guard? Absolutely. I mean, the, the one thing that he will face is Jaleek Felton. Yeah. who's also going to be charging for some minutes. But where I really like Woods, and I think this is something he could do better than Britt, and maybe even potentially Joel Berry, is block down on defense. Now, he didn't really, you know, he had so many things thrown at him last year, he didn't necessarily find the comfort level that he will need, but I think he shows enough. You know, he, he has the size, the strength, certainly the quick feet. I think if he develops that as sort of like, this is my cachet on the team, that certainly will guarantee him minutes because more and more in college basketball, see it all the time in the ACC, teams are relying on their lead guards to provide offense. If Woods is a disruptor that way, I think he'll play a surprising number of minutes. I certainly don't think that Felton will be able to come in and provide a great defensive presence. He's a freshman. So I think Woods has that as, as a, sort of the trump card to play over the rest of the guys if that's something he focuses on.